Hey guys, it's Sam and Skyler with The Blind Life. We are here at a local grocery store and I brought the OrCam today so we're gonna test out how well it works in shopping situations. Scanning items, that sort of thing. All right, we will see you inside. I got my camera girl here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay, so here's our first test. We have these muffin boxes of muffins. I can tell what they are, but I can't tell what flavor they are. So I'm gonna use the OrCam here to, to, to see if it'll read the flavor. All right, let's try it a different. Told me to lower my finger. No, I'm not getting it. Let's try a different one. Processing. Fudge brownies. You got it. Alright, there's another one here. This one's different, I can tell, but I can't tell what it is, so we'll try it. Cakes, they got it. Okay, so I'm looking for a drink mix. Now, I can tell this is the Crystal Light. I can tell that it's pink, so it's probably pink lemonade, but I'm not entirely sure, so we're gonna scan it. This time I'm gonna tap it. Took a picture? Pink lemonade. All right, I said pink lemonade. So now, let's find another one. Let's see what this one is. Fruit punch. Got it. All right, this is working pretty well. Okay, so this would be a good test for the OrCam. We're looking at the coffee section here, the K-Cups, and there is a lot of information here so this will be a test on how well it narrows in on a specific thing that I wanted to read. Okay, so for example, like one of these price tags here. So I'm going to point at the price tag and see if it reads it. I didn't read anything. Let's get closer. Nope, didn't say anything. It might be too much information. Let's try something else here. How about we'll read this? Can't read text. Said it can't read text. How about we'll just try to take a picture? A clock. A clock. <laughs> it's eight o'clock. It says eight o'clock on there? Okay, yeah. so it read a clock. Um, let's try something else here. Let's see if we can read this. Artificially flavored G. Artificially flavored G. Where? It said artificially flavored G. Yeah, artificially flavored coffee actually. Okay, so now let's try taking it away from all of that and see how well it reads. Flavored coffee, is that what it says right there? Uh, it says brown sugar crumble and then artificially flavored coffee. Okay, let's try just taking a picture this time. Brown sugar crumble savored. Brown sugar crumbled savor. Yeah. That actually sounds pretty good. Brown sugar crumbled coffee? Mm -hmm. uh, so we got it. Once I took it away from all this other confusion, it, it did a pretty good job then. So one cool thing about this is since it has the, uh, the lanyard here and it's magnetic, I can just 
walk around with it hanging on my neck here, and then whenever I need it, put the glasses on and attach it. One of the main issues I have in a grocery store is seeing these little signs that are up telling what section I'm in or what's on the aisle. So we're here in the frozen food section. Um, we're gonna try and read those. Like there's one right here. So we'll see what it says, okay? Bread, this must be the bread section. Let's move on to the next one. This is the breakfast section. All right, let's move to one of the uh, other aisles. Okay, so this is one of those signs, more traditional signs that's on each of the aisles way too far away for me to see what it says. So we're gonna see if uh, the Orgham can read it. All right. Toys. Toys? We got toys. There's more up there than just toys, so let's see. Toys. Toys, that's all it's saying. Okay, so here's another one. Let's try this one. Wow, I think you got all of it. Brooms, mops, light bulbs, storage containers, household supplies. Yep. Awesome. Except for laundry supplies, but that's it. I think it maybe even said that. It said a lot. <laughs> awesome, so it read that sign all the way up there. Pretty cool. All right. Okay guys, well I just got home from our shopping trip and I think it was pretty much a success. Uh, the OrCam did fairly well. Missed some things, but some things uh, that it got I was surprised about. Um, for me, I think the way that it works the best is if I can find what I'm looking for and then I can use the OrCam to narrow down the item or like I did with those muffin things at the beginning, find out which flavor I'm looking for, uh, or the drink mix, I did that too. So that's where it really helps for me. And then I mentioned it in the video that having it uh, wireless and magnetically attached to the glasses, I don't wear glasses, so for me to be able to pop it off and hang it around my neck when I'm not using it, and just keep the glasses you know, hanging on my shirt or in my pocket, something like that, and then when I do need it, pull it out, magnetically stick it onto the glasses and use it. That worked out really well for me. Um, I was pretty pleased with that. It was nice not having a wire hanging down to a big battery pack. Yeah, so that worked really well. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully there's not too much wind noise on this video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sam with The Blind Life quick look at the OrCam in a real world shopping environment. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the videos coming out in the future. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.